what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Nearly 25 years ago in the fall of 1993, a 19-year-old Ayanna Jackson accused Tupac Shakur and his associates of raping her in a New York City hotel. Now, over two decades later, for the first time, she's telling her story on camera in an interview with Vlad TV. I'm going to tell you right off the rip. This is a coveted interview, man. This is something I've been wanting to hear from a long time. I've heard, I read the interviews. I heard what she had to say. I read some of the transcripts, but... I never heard her say it on camera. And for the first time we're hearing this from the horse's mouth, we're hearing her side of the story. Jackson recounts her first encounter with Tupac at Nell's nightclub in Manhattan, just days before Tupac and his friends allegedly raped her. She said, things started out fine. I was having some champagne and he walked up behind me. I had some jeans on that night, and he placed his hands into the back pockets of my jeans. From there, she says that her and Tupac began dancing. They did some kissing, and they later had sex. She says she met up with Pac the next time. They didn't have sex. She met up another time, and they had sex. The last time she said that she met up with Tupac, she says that this is the night of the alleged rape. I don't know why I'm saying alleged, the line rape. She said that her and Pac uh, were in a room, a hotel room, with uh, adjoining bedrooms. And her and Tupac went into the room. Pac had asked her to give him a massage. She on top of Pac, giving him a massage. She said Pac turned around and... She's massaging his shoulders, and, and she says that she hears the door opening, people coming into the room, the light from the living room providing light in the dark bedroom. She gets a little nervous. She can hear dudes in the background, and she gets startled. She tries to turn, but Pot grabs her. Uh, grabs a fistful of her hair. She says she had braids and Bach grabs a braid to stop her from turning around. At that point, she said that this is where the rape occurred. Now, check this out. She said that Pac, she was on top of Pac with her clothes on. And when Pac was forcing her down, when the other guys were coming in trying to rip, were ripping her clothes off, she stayed on top of Pac and she continued to have sex with Pac. At this point, Pac is raping her and these, and then these guys are raping her. Man, this girl is lying, all right? Man, y'all know, man, I ain't with that rape shit, but this girl is lying, man. First and foremost, you talking about Tupac. At the time, Pac was one of the biggest sex symbols out there. I mean, women just throwing sex on him left and right. He ain't got to force no woman to do nothing. You know how I many women would just line up, do whatever he wanted them to do? And it ain't like that's a far stretch. That's not far-fetched for women who are out there in the world that's get down like that, to get down like that. It's not hard to find those type of women at all. Why would he jeopardize his freedom, his career? Pac wasn't an abusive dude to women. He wasn't even built like that. Why would he do something like that? It don't even make sense. Seems like to me, he tossed her up and she got in her feelings. And now it's, oh, you did this to me. Maybe the guys had sex with her and they were handling her a certain kind of way and she felt like Pac should have been there for her to protect her. I don't know. 
but she's lying. Definitely she's lying. Now, as a person who uh, is an expert in interviews and analysis, I peeped it early on, man. Vlad did a good job with getting that information out of her. See, and he did a good job also exposing her inconsistencies. She all over the place with this story, man. She all over the place. Man, the truth can be told a billion times with consistency. Perfect consistency. A lie cannot. You're going to tell a lie a billion different ways because you've got to try to remember which lie you told. Now, Pac say that she gave him head on the dance floor. She disputes that claim saying that she was forced down on her knees by Pac. Pac grabbed her head and forced her down to the floor. And she may have kissed it. She can't remember. Who the hell can't remember if they kiss somebody bang on the middle of a dance floor? Come on, man. This is common sense, man. This ain't rocket science. And we're supposed to believe this. She said that even after all of this, she still hung out with Pop and she still kicked it with him. What respectable woman would do something like that? This is a thought trying to gain sympathy. I'm glad that Vlad interviewed her though because I know some people were upset about the interview, but I'm glad he interviewed her because I wanted to hear what she had to say. I think it's news. Now, Pac was a, a legendary person, a legendary personality. And up until that point, we had only heard what he had verbalized, not her. So I wanted, I'm glad he put the interview out to further expose her and so that people can see for themselves. You can read her. Everybody that's watching, damn near everybody that's watching is, 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 has come to the same conclusion. Look at all that mm and uh, mm. You ain't got your story yet in 20, right in 25 years. You still ain't got the story right. You still saying mm, mm, get the hell out of here. So she says that she was on top of Pop while her clothes were being ripped off. She still was on top of Pop having sex, but her clothes was on. She said her clothes were on, but she was having sex. Man, come on, man. Come on. Y'all check out the video yourself. You can go Google it. Uh, go to uh, Vlad TV. It's right there. Uh, to the dudes out there, man, y'all don't put yourself in these type of positions, especially you guys out there that got careers and you're making that big money, man. These women are out here targeting, man. And they'll get you. And these DAs and policemen, all these people, they'll build a career off your name because they don't care about the truth. All they care about is they got a big fish and they'll get you guilty or innocent. They don't give a damn. Ayanna Jackson, I hope this video finds its way to you because I want to speak to you directly. So we're supposed to believe that you ate the homie Tupac up on the middle of a crowded dance floor in front of strangers, yet having a train ran on you is beneath you? Fuck out of here. No more talk. Yeah.